Excellent work on your mission, Agent. Let's quickly have a debriefing so we can discuss how you accomplished your mission. The first thing we had to do was from PIL import the image functionality, and then we could say open up the links themselves. So one of the links was under blue mission files, we had the image link. And if we check this, we can see size. And then if we check what the actual links looks like, we have some sort of links in here. So we can see there's HTTPS, Google, Walk, and then Words. The other image we had was the cover image. So we can say cover is equal to image open. And then we have blue mission files. And we have a cover image there. And then we can check the cover size and then check the cover itself. So here we can see the cover. Now, it looks like there was some sort of pattern where you had to place the cover on top of this image. But if you take a closer look at the sizes, they don't match up. So we have 1093 by 693 here, and then we have 1226 by 777. So we should be able to resize this cover in order to place it on top of this image to make sure they fit. And then we can't just place them over each other, we should also add in some sort of alpha. That way this white is has some transparency to reveal what box is on the image links behind it. So let's do that. First, let's resize the cover. We'll say cover is equal to cover resize. And we're going to resize it to the size of the links. And we can just pass in the attribute, which returns back the tuple. So now if I check the size of my cover, it's 1226777, just like those images of the links. Then let's go ahead and add some alpha to it. So we can say cover, put alpha, and we can try 128 and experiment with this value a little bit. So if I take a look at my cover now, it looks definitely a lot grayer. So let's paste this over the links. We'll say links, paste, and we'll just provide cover the box, and then also indicate that the mask is also the cover. And when you run this and then check out the links, we can see here that it's highlighting this link we need to go to. It says go to this link, and it looks like there's some sort of shortened Google link, goo.glldo5nt. So let's type that in here, https colon forward slash forward slash goo.gl forward slash ld lowercase o 5 n t and let's go to this link. If we go to that link it looks like we're on the right track. Here we can see that there's some information and it looks like there's an encrypted message here. It says the key for the encrypted message below is the largest known format prime passed through an SHA3 256-bit hash. It also says this number should be passed as a byte string by placing B in front of the string. And then there's some sort of encrypted message that we need to decrypt using that key. So in order to solve all of this, we're going to need to dive in and learn about encryption and decryption. We'll see you there, agent.